What's up guys? Welcome to Field Series Review. Today, we're gonna to look at the five pieces of the Sipta Whitetail system that I believe are must-haves. All right guys, so we're gonna look at five pieces of Sitka gear from the Whitetail line that I believe are must-haves. And these are five things that if I lost them today, I would immediately order that piece to have it for my next deer hunt. Um, I do have, before we jump into that, I do have three pieces of gear for the honorable mentions. Uh, these are things that I use very heavily, but they didn't quite make the cut, but are still things worth mentioning. So the first is gonna be the Stratus Vest in Blaze Orange. I find myself using this quite a bit during rifle season, especially with kids hunting out of blinds and shooting houses. So if I'm just wearing my regular clothes for work or I'm going somewhere and I don't want to get all decked out in camo because I'm in a blind or a shooting house, I can simply grab this vest and throw it over regular clothes and I meet my state's regulations and I'm keeping the wind off me. It's very comfortable and I just find myself using it quite a bit. So I definitely feel like it's something that's worth mentioning. Um, the second piece that's worth mentioning is going to be the uh, tool belt. Um, the tool belt is like an oversized fanny pack. Um, it came out in 2020 as well. I find myself using this quite a bit when I'm hunting out of a climber. Um, if I have a backpack on and I'm my tree stand, I'm using a climber. I feel like the backpack up around my shoulders causes me to, to causes my weight to move, and I don't like it very much. And it, it, it when I hunt in a summit climber, so when I'm trying to get into the climber with the backpack on, it just kind of gets in the way. I really like this guy because it holds more than it looks like it holds and it's around my waist and I can turn it front, back, have whatever I need. And it keeps that weight around my hips. So when I climb up into the stand and I'm getting set, I don't have to do all this motion of pulling the backpack off while I'm up in a climber. Um, I can easily just unclip this, uh, with the tool belt, and then I can just hang it very easily, access all my stuff. So it's, it's, uh, it's kind of pricey for what it is, the uh, tool belt is um, 239 um, it's rival the tool bucket the full backpack is only twenty dollars more you do get a um, a sack to put like clothes and stuff in if you want to do that but this is definitely a great option to look into the third piece on our honorable mentions is another piece that i use quite a bit and i probably if i lost these i probably would order more but they just didn't quite make the cut it is going to be the stratus bibs I love the Stratus bibs. I love these over the Stratus pants. You have uh, full zips going from the hip all the way down to the ankles. So as you're walking in, you can unzip to dump heat out. And then as you get colder, you can zip down. They're much easier to take on and off. So if you've got a longer hike, you can wear something like Equinox pants and you can slide these over. Um, very comfortable, covers your kidneys, offers additional warmth, 100% uh, windproof. A very very good piece and I do have reviews for all of these pieces on my channel as well if you want a more in-depth look all right guys so coming in at number five for my five pieces of Sitka gear from the white tail line that you must have is going to be the fanatic gloves love the fanatic gloves um, not too bulky not too thin uh, provides great warmth um, very easy to get on, very easy to get off. Um, I like that your trigger finger, your thumb are cut out. So um, trigger finger, thumb for your phone, whatever you need. Um, this is a great pair of gloves, um, especially your hands are gonna be in your pockets anyway, but, but you're not gonna sweat in these. They're not too thick for you to get your gear out. Um, and they just, to me, most of Sitka gear is very pricey, but these gloves actually have a reasonable price at just $40. Um, so I do highly recommend these to deer hunters because um, it's a great glove. You can still get to everything that you need, um, but they also keep your hands warm. All right, guys, so coming in at number four in my uh, list of must-haves for the whitetail line is gonna be the tool bucket. The tool bucket is the full-size backpack, um, bigger than the tool belt we just looked at. Uh, it's called the tool bucket because you open it up and you drop things down in here like a bucket. Um, it hangs well on the tree. It's easy to access. It's a very comfortable pack. It's going to come in at about $259. 
Um, you have straps for carrying weapons. You can get a small lock-on strapped onto this if you need. Has plenty of pockets, very durable. Um, I'm a big fan of this pack. Um, if you're going on a short hunt, you're going on a long hunt, you can get most of your gear in here. And uh, it's uh, easy access when you're up in the tree, which um, is one of the things for me. I, I like to be safe in the tree so I can simply open this up and I can just access all of my stuff whenever I need it. Um, this comes in at number four for a must have from the Whitetail line. All right, guys, so coming in at number three on our list is going to be the Sitka Equinox pants. Now, these are the all around deer hunting pants. Um, you can get away with these in early season, you can layer under these in mid season, and then in late season, you can layer under them for your walk in and then put something like Stratus bibs of. Uh, fanatic bibs over them when the temperatures really start to drop. But for just a great pair of deer hunting pants, um, these really fit the bill. You have plenty of, uh, plenty of cargo pockets on the thighs. Um, you have obviously hand pockets in the front. Um, you don't have any pockets in the back for like your wallet and whatnot. But like I said, you have plenty of pockets elsewhere, pockets that zip. Um, these are a must have. You want these for a lot of different scenarios and they're durable. I've had this pair for six or seven years now and um, I wouldn't trade them for anything. So they're gonna come in at about $199. Pretty steep for a pair of pants, but these are a pair of pants that are gonna last you a long, long time. And that's why they're gonna come in number three on our list. All right guys, so we're getting down to the number two of our list. Now one and two are a bit of a toss up but um, I would decide to go with the Stratus jacket for my number two. This is an excellent deer hunting jacket. It's 100% windproof. It's got DWR technology, so it will repel water. Um, it's a great shell to layer under. Um, you have drawstrings at the bottom to keep the heat, uh, keep the heat in. You have uh, ports in the back for your safety harness. You've got pockets that zip up. Um, for your hands and on the chest. So you drop your keys, your phone, your wallet, whatever into your pockets, you can zip them up. Um, this is one of my all time favorite jackets. This is the updated model from 2020, um, but I had the previous model and it worked great. So coming in at number two, a must have for white tail hunters, the Stratus jacket. All right guys, so coming in at number one on our list, of must-haves from the Sitka Whitetail line. I've decided to go with the Sitka Fanatic hoodie. Absolutely love this piece. Um, if, if this one got stolen today, I would have myself another one ordered very next day to get ready for the rut coming up. Um, <clears throat> Fanatic hoodie is simply a core heavyweight hoodie on steroids. You're gonna have things like pockets in the front. You have your full built-in face mask. You have mitts on the hands. Um, you're able to zip all the way down so that you can release heat. It is a staple of the white tail line. It can be worn in early season as an outer layer. If you just, if it's a little chill in the, in the morning, it can be worn down to the low temps as a layering piece. Um, I constantly find myself, no matter what jacket I have on, I always have the hood of my Fanatic hoodie pulled up and use the face mask. Um, the face mask doesn't get in the way. I've shot so many deer with my bow, with this, with this hoodie on, with the face mask, and it doesn't get in the way. It just feels so comfortable. It's a great layering piece. It's going to come in at $199. I think it's absolutely worth it. I've had this one now for about five years. Um, it's held up. It's done great. So my number one is going to be the Sitka Fanatic hoodie. All right, guys, so I hope you like my list of the five pieces of Sitka gear that you need from the Whitetail line. I'm sure there's going to be some debate. I'm sure there's people that are going to feel that other pieces are more important than the list that I gave, and that's perfectly fine. Drop them down in the comment section. Let me know what I might have missed. Let me know on social media what I should have added, what I should have taken away, and let me know what you thought about my list. Um, thank you again for stopping by. Uh, be sure to check us out on Instagram, Facebook. Subscribe to the channel comment down below, and don't forget to check out our sponsor, Dixie Fowl Company. 
Um, use promo code FSREVIEW for 15% off. And we'll see you guys next time.